ಸವಿತುರ್ಹರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರಗೋ ದೇವಸ್ಯೀಮಹಿ ಬಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾಧಂ ಸೋ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಟುದೆ ಮೈ ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪೋಲ್ ಕಾಲಗನ್ ಶಿವಾನಂದ ಯೋಗ ಟೀಚರ್ ಫ್ರಾಮ್ ನ್ಯೂಯಾರ್ಕ್ ಬ್ರೂಕ್ಲಿನ್ ಸೊ ಹಾಯ್ ಪೋಲ್ ಹಾಯ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಬಾಡಿ So we continue our um, discussion on the um, philosophy of Advaita. The meaning is uh, non-duality, very famous for the modern esoteric groups um, uh, for modern spirituality. And um, okay, uh, let us uh, speak today about the meaning of the guru, uh, guide, like with the more details. Um, you know, in this process of Advaita. And uh, this is really an intensive question, actually, for many spiritual seekers, because when, if we follow uh, you know, philosophy of duality, in Sanskrit means Dvaita, then everything is more or less clear. God is somewhere, we're here, we need priests, gurus, Um, um to connect us with um, God who is somewhere outside but so um what if we come to know that uh, God actually is there not just inside us but actually essence of our consciousness so it's like uh, you know you know that wonderful American movies you Um, about aliens like inside you some alien guy yeah it's not like that but really the God as absolute consciousness is an essence uh, you know of our existence and then the meaning of the gurus is become questionable for somebody and I think it's a great mistake because um, still we need guru in this process so I And can you say what is the meaning of the guru guide um, okay in this very subtle process of self inquiry yeah uh, the most important thing uh, I mentioned before already in some video like uh, um, like from my point of view I can I can say the example like the child and the parents and Like, of course, uh, um, uh, ch- uh, most of the children, most of them, <laughs> uh, need, need parents. That's very similar, similar like, way. Like, uh, you, um, some things, you, you can read from the, um, from the books, and, uh, but by yourself, in this in pretty much um, I would say pretty much not difficult but um, um, like not not easy to- like not easy topic or way like and uh, it's um, it's not so easy just to uh, to um, uh, to have the connection with God it's like it's a big topic it's it's uh, And you need of course you need a uh, guide to um, to understand like I said the techniques and how to do them properly even if you read it like uh, you uh, <clears throat> you still need the guide like uh, even if you know the techniques you still need to do it proper way for uh, and you need it for a while like uh, like uh, the guide like anyway if you even if you know your guru is inside or something like uh, it's not just uh, he's gonna tell you the techniques and you're gonna do it by yourself like and that's it uh, you're gonna need uh, some people needs it like for the whole life like uh, some people needs it for the many lives even um, so uh, my point is that like so uh, not just guide for the, for the, for a very beginning for the start Uh, but but later too like to uh, because when you st- when you start 
it, it's a lot of obstacles, a lot of things. You don't know what to do with them, and you, you're going to need it definitely. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, absolutely agree with you, because even if uh, we have some great number of books uh, on the market and we can easily uh, now enjoy, watch so many educational videos, it's not enough. For example, just next to, to me I have a wonderful Bhagavad Gita uh, translation, okay, <clears throat> one more, um, okay, that's about Ramana Maharshi, okay, this is about Yoga Sutra, okay, that's... Um, and then the, um, but even if we read all that and even much more, it doesn't mean that we are able to practice because yes. um, um, just um, uh, there's a famous um, saying that, okay, even if you have a textbook on medical science, it doesn't mean that you can be a medical doctor. If you yes. read this book, nothing happened. You have to go to the university. The same yeah. uh, with the lawyers, the same with, uh, with the financial advisors. You know, it's like uh, if somebody comes to you and uh, suppose you wish this guy to be your financial advisor, but then you come to know that the guy uh, went through a couple of books and actually he, he, he or she is ready to be a financial advisor. That's, that's pretty, pretty much awful. I mean, that must be real education. And yes. the strange thing is that we hope, we expect that when we, okay, let us say, um, speak about spirituality, meditation, self-inquiry, we don't need university because it's so simple. We just can read Bhagavad Gita, Buddhist yes. uh, sutras, or well, <coughs> Ramana Maharshi books, or Yogananda's, Shivananda's books. That's enough. No, no, we need guide who can explain thousands of details and um, um, it's like about meditation it's about you know many experiences and you know one more reason why we have we need actually guide we need guru because uh, okay when people start to practice meditation almost everyone begin to experience some mystical things experiences light bliss sound Okay, out of body experience, different chakras, mystical experiences. Okay, how can you ask all that questions? You, you can't ask book, you can't ask yeah. a video. You have to, you know, uh, approach a guide and put all that questions in front of him or her. And my next question to you is, who can be, according to your understanding, actually real master, real guide, when we speak about such a subtle and not easy, uh, you know, things like, you know, real spirituality advaita because, well, I may understand who can be priest, who yeah. can be rabbi, who can be mullah in a uh, mosque. I mean, that's, okay, got education, then ordination, and that's, that he can become priest. But who can be a uh, spiritual master? Yeah, from our point of view, uh, uh, the master is supposed to be, um, like, supposed to have, like, a lot of experience by himself already. That's the first thing. Like, not just from books, like, not to say the lectures to you, but uh, his own experience, especially, like, let's say meditation or pranayama, or something else like some practicing like uh, um, and uh, very important like guru kula like parampara he, he like uh, his guru told him how to do that but not just told him all details and went through these details with him and he knows like many many like you mentioned already many small details which is extremely important when you started you when you practice already like uh, it's on and every step you have like tons like like many many things like you can't take it from the book so from my point of view the master is supposed to be very experienced um uh, like guy let's say like master uh, 
uh, first of all, and then uh, uh, many other things, of course, but uh, it's in a second place already. They experience more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's let me support this because, um, for example, priest, priest of any organized religion can be just the person who knows uh, because of books, out of books, bookish knowledge, uh, they call it in India. And uh, uh, But the master must be the one who has, he or she, doesn't matter actually, uh, uh, actual mystical experience of yeah, their consciousness, right. because then it's useless. Yeah, please continue. Yeah, yeah that, that's the first thing I wanted to say, like, uh, the own experience, and then uh, another thing, it's also important, not everyone uh, who's got experience could be master, because you have the, you should have the, let's say talent, or something like that, uh, uh, to, uh, to teach, to give it uh, to the other person, not everyone can do it also. And also, um, uh, we didn't speak about it yet, but it's very important about the energy thing. Uh, the, um, it has to give not just knowledge, but the knowledge, it's information with the energy, like the master have already. Like that's, that's, the, that's the combination uh, which is really works, like the experience, and the power, let's say, like the good power, like the, the a lot of energy, a lot of prana. And then like uh, you can get it, like the, not just information, information you can forget like the second day, but if it goes with the true energy, it, it uh, it's like metaphysical process goes inside of you, like like transformation. Like the energy influences you, and you can feel it. Like, and uh, you're not gonna forget it. Even if you forget the information, you're still gonna feel something. That's what I wanted to mention. Also, uh, yeah, that's that's the really... life, not just yeah. life, but the the life experience. Like uh, the life experience, it's information, good knowing technique, own experience with the energy. Like uh, like God energy, you can say. In, yeah, in, and it's yeah. Yeah, yeah. Please, please. Yeah, that's a, yeah. The the energy like prana, like yeah. Yeah, actually, of course, the next question is uh, how can we recognize that master who who has um, uh, like this actual experience, then ability to teach. And, you know, that's always the question of um, our intuition. There is no any proof, there is no mm -hmm. any logic. It's not like, okay, uh, this guy, he has, he or she, huge number of disciples, huge ashram, a lot of books, like, you know, that does, it means nothing, actually. Yeah. And um, uh, no logical proof, no any you know, kind of insurance available here, it's really take a chance. It's really a very interesting game, like you have to be brave enough to uh, to feel, to experience yourself. Okay, like, okay, when you visit this, 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 so many, many different spiritual teachers, meditation masters, philosophers, and then you, okay, may compare this and that, uh, person and then you can experience yourself okay like I feel something special about exactly this guy and uh, then better to pay attention to your feeling because this intuition will lead you to the proper master because spiritual uh, connection yeah a spiritual connection um, okay for, yeah that's very important because maybe yeah. the same good master is not really helpful for somebody else yeah uh, it must be personal spiritual connection and uh, of course it must be your own responsibility it's like not possible somebody can come to you and say oh my, my you know come on like go to this guru he's really yeah. nice one. it must be your responsibility <coughs> based on your experience and if you are wrong take responsibility anyway yeah, so, 
Okay, Paul, thank you very much for your time and um, um, wisdom. Yeah, we really continue to discuss all that very interesting, subtle, um, really difficult uh, questions uh, because, yeah, anyway, spirituality is a wonderful journey within and we need guide and it's always for thousands of years one of the most difficult question to solve who is the master how to recognize him as or her okay thank you very much god bless all of us as usually see you next time